Hey, what's up? It's Boss. Today we're going to take these simple ingredients and make an awesome hot sauce. Let's get started. So today we're making a tropical style hot sauce and we're going to do that with just a handful of ingredients. To kick it off, we've got some dried peppers that I picked up at the supermarket. These were smoked anchos, I believe. Um, I've got a handful of mixed peppers from the garden. We've got some frozen mango, fresh pineapple, light brown sugar, garlic, xanthan gum, and distilled white vinegar. That's really all it takes. We're going to put the mango in the blender first, let that thaw while we chop up our pineapple. So just cut the pineapple into chunks, right? Take the sides off, and then about one inch squares is what we're looking for. Feed those all into the blender. I'm not going to make you watch me fill the entire thing, but I put all of this in the blender. Now we're going to use our assistant's help to get the blender started. Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> and just blend this to a nice puree. So we have pineapple mango ready to go. Pour this into a dish so that it's ready for later because we're going to need this blender for our peppers. Up next, we want to get our dry peppers reconstituted, but first we need to take these stems off. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those off and plop them in the water. We're going to let this simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. And while that's simmering, we'll work on chopping up our fresh peppers. I've got an assortment here from the garden, just the last things I harvested. Um, all kinds of heats and flavors. This is a chocolate ghost. I think we have a sugar rush cream. Um, there's also some ahi fantasy. So some pretty pods. You can see there's a lot of green that didn't quite ripen, but that's okay. We're going to get them all chopped up and put in the blender. Really, all I'm trying to do here is make sure that they're safe and good to use, right? So not rotten on the inside. We pop the tops off. If it looks good inside, it's going right in the blender. I don't need to chop them smaller than this. The blender's going to do that work for me. So let's cut through all of these. I should be wearing gloves, but I'm an idiot, so <laughs> my hands. Um, let's see. You should be wearing gloves, though. Do, do it the smart way. All right, these are coming along nicely. I've got most of these chopped. I started trying to cut them by type, which was silly, just to make the blender look pretty, but down to the last couple of chocolate ghosts. Those will go in on the top, and we are ready to add some liquids and then blend them up. So we don't want to just hit this right now because it's too much dry material. We're going to add about a cup and a half of distilled white vinegar and three quarters of a cup of water to this. We're going to add a few cloves of garlic, not a lot. We don't want this to be a real savory sauce. Blend this up. It's going to be a pretty ugly color. I'm just going to tell you that now, right? It doesn't look awesome, but that's fine. This is far from the finished product. So we're going to take this and set that aside. Put it into a pan if you have one handy. Uh, we're going to need it again once we blend up those dried peppers after they're reconstituted. So let's go take a quick look at those and see how they're doing. You can see they're nice and soft. They've also turned the water this beautiful brown pepper color. Uh, we're going to save that. We're going to add that back into the sauce. Uh, not all of it, but some of it. So pull these out. Look at that beautiful, beautiful brown. Mmm, yummy. Uh, <laughs> Put a little bit in the blender with these, we don't want too much, uh, and then get these pretty much pulverized. Great reddish brown color on there. Uh, we're going to add back our other peppers from the fresh peppers into the blender, and then we'll have a little bit, not too much, of the mango pineapple puree that we'll add in on the top. Um, up to that line that says max liquid, don't overfill your blender. Seriously. Respect that line that says max liquid. Trust me. We'll blend, blend this up. It looks really nice. Pretty red-brown color. Really starting to look kind of like its final incarnation. Um, we're going to pour it into the pot that we're going to be cooking in. This is a rather large pot that has spouts to help make it easier to pour out of. Uh, we're going to add the rest of that mango pineapple puree and start cooking. We want this to boil at first, um, so put it up pretty high, and then we're going to reduce that down to a simmer. After we reduce the heat a little bit, we're going to go ahead and add our final ingredient, the brown sugar. And actually a pinch of xanthan gum was in there too, I should have showed that. Don't do it like that though, it's going to splash on the floor. So gently add your brown sugar. Um, stir this in really good with a whisk, make sure that's all fully incorporated through your sauce. And after about 20-25 minutes, it's going to look like this. So this has been simmering for a while, great consistency, it's ready to bottle. Look at that color though. So, so very nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wash up a handful of bottles and get them sanitized. I didn't have as many as I thought, so I've got some jars here as well. I might need to grab a few more, so I've got a few more sitting in hot soapy water in the sink. I will sanitize them before I fill them. Funnel is also sanitized. Really, you just want to pour them in here carefully. Uh, these are 5-ounce woozy bottles, and then there are some 4-ounce jars as well as a 32-ounce jar there. So I've made quite a lot of sauce. Um, fill these all up. And then you're really ready to take a quick look at it. Very nice, right? Pretty color. 
We are at the crucial point now of taking a taste test, make sure it's what we expect. Time to give it a taste test to see how it turned out, and then I'll have to think of a name and get some labels on it, but this is the part that matters. Of course, I get the big jar because it's mine. It's actually turned out a lot more brown than I imagined it would. I thought it would be a little bit lighter, a little bit more tan, so this is my jar. I don't mind sticking my spoon right in it. it smells very smoky from those dried peppers. Let's give it a taste. Wow, super sweet. Great flavor from the pineapple and mango, and then the heat builds a little bit. It's not overwhelmingly hot. Pretty mild for most of the sauces I make. Might be a little spicy for some, but really sweet flavor. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Um, the brown sugar helps kind of balance out those sweetnesses. And then the nice blend of the uh, vinegar for that tartness, the sweet tangy pineapple, and the sweet mango. Perfect balance to those peppers. So I just need to come up with a name. Mm -hmm. 23 and a half degrees north, where the tropics begin. Since this was such a sweet sauce with such great tropical flavor, I thought it had to be tropically inspired. So that's how it turned out. I'm really excited about this one. I'm going to be giving away a lot of these to friends and family. If you'd like to win a bottle of 23 and a half degrees north, leave a comment below and tell me what you want to use it with. What food do you want to put it on? How are you going to eat it? If I pick your comment at random, I'll ship you a bottle anywhere in the United States. Sorry, international folks, just can't do it. But if you live in the U.S. and you want a bottle of this, leave a comment below. Tell me what you're going to use it on. Until next time, peace.